the end result of this beautiful Lemania. What a journey it has been. A good chance that we found the original, the same, the identical hands for this watch. Maybe you can remember the horrible state it was in. Well, it is a spring and I know my finger is in view, but it is a spring so anything can happen. <laughs> there we are. Removed. Oh, you see, it is slightly magnetic. This screw is loose, so this plate I can disassemble, but underneath here you can see another spring. So if I remove this plate here, I have to be very careful with this tiny spring underneath. That, that one becomes loose and you can just have to slide it this way. Plastic parts, if you secure it here, it cannot go upwards. And then simply there we are without leaving a mark the pivot is still straight that's very delicate that's the top one there we are without any scratches now the spring is removed We can uh, imagine that there's a small shoulder straight uh, in this screw, otherwise it will push the cam downwards and it won't be able to move. So, so a lot of special parts in the chronograph. You can see here's a, a slit in the plate. And that's housing this spring, if I remove this one. For me, this is La Mania. That's not traditional watchmaking. This is for me, <laughs> well, maybe I'm just being silly, a uh, fine mechanics solution for an horology problem. If you see such elegant springs like this, so well made, crafted, so beautiful designed and then this piece of forged plate is just out of step with the rest of the design and maybe it's just me being silly in my head but this for me is an afterthought and not part of the original design for uh, the movement so complete empty plate here is the stud for the cam, here's the excenter for the second wheel lever, here's the excenter for the teeth, for the, you can see here the pivot from the fourth wheel, there is the pivot point for the minute counter, and of course here uh, the cam. Okay, now we have to look for the main barrel. Well, that could be worse. Really dirty, but not too much wear and tear. Okay, the hammer is gone, so now I can remove this hour wheel. Hey, this, this screw was extremely loose. That's a bit strange. Of course, because of the hit uh, of the, the movement, do you remember uh, the dial was like this and that was just underneath this so there was a huge force on the uh, the movement and that's probably why these two screws were just loose the spring here the 
the sitting pinion, sliding pinion. Before we forget, we have to take off the cannon pinion. And when you do, you have to be very careful because you can see there is a tiny pivot. So if you want to use force to take out this one with way too much play. Wow, look at this. Be very careful for that pivot. If we remove this huge plate, then we will see that the actual movement underneath. Gear train. Well, not too much wear. Again, pivot's in good shape. Here is a special wheel because uh, this side is the pivot for the second hand, which is uh, always moving. So not for the chronograph, but just for telling the time. And this is the extra thick and long pivot for the power source for the um, chronograph. Remember when I pulled off uh, the extra wheel with the Presto tool? Well, there was this pivot here. Ratchet wheel. The pivot's still okay. It's nice. It was in a horrible condition, but uh, we'll manage to make it a beautiful timepiece again. The end result of this beautiful Lemania. What a journey it has been here. We left, of course, the patina on the dial. That is part of the story. It That makes it this particular watch. The set and the reset real strong, directly, exactly to the 12 o'clock position. And the movement. All original, all parts of this watch. This restoration is a really double-edged sword for me. It took way too long. This watch has been with us for years and years and years and years. We never could imagine the extent of damage to the watch. Uh, maybe you remember earlier in this video, you saw the movement lopsided like this in the case. The main plate was bent and that gave us so many headaches in functioning in all the different parts. Somewhere along the way, there was a point of no return. We put in so much, so many hours just to make this watch perfect. And then you find the main plate bent. It is still the original main plate. Uh, it took us so long to finally get it perfectly flat with all the machines we have here in our workshop. So, it is almost a philosophical question. When it came in, should I have said it isn't possible? Uh, we charge $75 for inspection and that's it. Basket case, hopeless. Or did we write, did we do right from, of course we can do a restoration. It will take long, but we never expect it to be so long. And deep in my heart, I am immensely proud that a watch in this horrible state can be restored back to perfection. But the client had to wait too long and I'm fully aware of that. But somewhere along the way there was a point of no return. Uh, we put in so many hours we didn't charge the client. So many hours we didn't charge the client. And I am proud that this piece of history is saved for the 
future generations because it is perfect again. Oh well, it took way too long, but the result is stunning and I am quite proud that a basket case like this can, it can run like new with all the original parts. I really do hope you enjoyed all the steps of this restoration and it is a lovely piece of history. And I think if we fit it with a racing strap like that, that is wow. All of you, thank you so much for your attention. See ya, bye bye.